hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Annie and today I'll be talking about maintaining one's confidence while you have acne so I've been there I understand that acne can be a major cause of insecurity it can be a cause of um, depression self-pity and a whole lot of like even low self-esteem acne can do that right so three years ago I think two years ago I had major breakouts and scarring like it was really really bad it was so bad that then I would pray to God and just ask that okay God help me let my face just become clear and to God's glory and as a result of my father's help God bless my father's soul um, I was able to go to a dermatologist and the dermatologist gave me a drug and some creams what well, say tube creams and also the um, Neutrogena products so I'll just give it to you guys now. I think um, doxycycline. So I used doxycycline for two months. Then I used clean cap um, ben benosulin peroxide. I don't know if I got the pronunciation, but yeah. Then I used retina A. I used um, a Neutrogena face wash, sunscreen, and that was the routine. But um yeah so yeah i had like clear skin for two years like my skin was glowing i would come out and i'll just be blind like you look at me i'll look like the sun the sun that's how clear my skin was it was so good because prior to then i had never had like oh a very clear you know even skin and i got that for two years and i'm so grateful but now the products are not working <laughs> The products I used then are not working. I guess I've grown, my body has evolved equally, so it's not working anymore. And I'm looking for new solutions because the same problem I had then is like coming back again. So I'm looking for like new solutions, looking for a new dermatologist, and I'm basically working on it. And it just made me like the the fact that I am currently looking for you know a solution to my current problem with my skin i just remember that two years ago i told myself that i would make a video where i would you know speak to people out there on maintaining their confidence while they have acne so i'm doing that right now because it's important that i learn my voice i understand that this i understand the struggle and i understand that there are people that might be struggling with this issue so yeah i'll just jump right into it so first off it's important that you accept yourself i always talk about acceptance it's best that it's it's primary it's primary that you accept yourself and you tell yourself that okay this is me right now okay okay this is me right now um but this does not define me that's just the truth tell yourself yeah this is me but this does not define me if you're a girl tell yourself i'm still a queen i'm still beautiful you know acne or no acne i'm still that girl tell yourself that just know that for the fact that you're doing stuff you're trying to make sure that your skin is clear you're putting in the effort don't beat yourself about it please like just keep on putting in the effort keep on looking for solutions if one does not work two would work if two does not work three would work if three does not work four would work just keep on thinking back two years ago i know how many things or how many solutions people provide people will be like oh use this one try this one do this one do this one until i went to a dermatologist but i tried i know that i tried and that's the same energy that i'm coming with now and i'm telling myself that okay it's going to go it would go right and i want everyone out there that might be struggling with acne just know that it will go don't worry it will go so accept yourself and know that it will go <laughs> then don't be negative like don't be negative try and avoid having negative thoughts or talking to yourself and saying oh my face is this or i'm not you're beautiful right you're handsome you look good either ways acne or no acne you are beautiful I, to the guys you are handsome just know that huh just know that right and next off don't think about what people might think or what people are saying people don't really care or people are not that stressed some people will just people usually if you see how if you talk to people you know that okay for instance if you are going through a blog you go through the blog three minutes you've left you've forgotten about what you looked at and next thing you're back to your life so people are not bothered right people might talk or whoever might talk but 
they still have their lives to go look out for. And if they're not, if they are talking, that means they're not looking out for their lives. So you should not even be bothered about people like that. Honestly, you should not be bothered. <laughs> Just focus on finding a solution. Focus on finding a solution. And while you're focusing on finding a solution, take care of yourself. Pamper yourself. Like, you know, do your skin routine. Have your, you know, routine, your general routine. Eat well. Go out. Don't avoid social interaction. That's another one. Do not avoid social interaction. I know then, um, Going back now to two years ago, I was um, really skeptical then about going out because oh, without makeup, I would get, oh, what happened to your face? With makeup, you can you will still be able to see, you know, the because it would not be a smooth surface. You'll still be able to see that, okay, this lady has acne. So that's why the fact, don't avoid social interaction. Don't avoid social interaction. Go out. You're looking for solutions. So... Just go out, have live your life. Don't box yourself in because of a skin condition that can go and will go. It will go, right? So it's it's important that you go out. Don't avoid social interaction. Accept yourself. Don't think that it's your fault. So that's another one, you know, thinking that oh, it's my fault or it's anyone's fault. If anyone knows the reason why people have acne, please just tell me tell me tell me because honestly you don't come and give me science reasons or like oh you have oily gland that no i'm talking about oh you know activities that we do that can cause acne if anyone has the the um right answer to that please tell me because um over time i've come to realize that it's actually not my fault it's just it's my body maybe i don't know what like i don't know what might be causing it and I've tried to get it out, but it's still there. So it's so to people out there that have acne, it's not your fault. Just know that it's not your fault. There are solutions out there, and you will find your solution. You will find your solution. So don't be worried. Don't be. Don't beat yourself. Don't feel sad. Don't feel depressed. Don't have self pity. Like know that it's going to clear out, and you'll be fine. It's going to clear out and you'll be fine with or without it you are still amazing with or without it I am still amazing right because I understand like personally like I said I understand the struggle I'm currently ongoing like oh because I'm trying to find a solution for myself so I'm sharing this with you guys from a position of oh this is what i'm going through at the moment and despite the fact that i'm going through this i know that i would overcome this right oh, me i right i say right a whole lot <laughs> so guys i think this is the end of my video i hope that i was able to help anyone out there that is feeling less confident you know worried about their skin you'll be good you'll be fine I'll put down the solutions that I used before like oh I used years ago that worked it doesn't work for me anymore um, penicillin peroxide I'm now allergic to it like I had a swollen skin hives like my when I continually used it my skin swole right <laughs> my skin swole so you can try it and it might work for you and I hope it works for you so I wish everyone luck with their, you know, skin re routine and please, please know that you're more than any scar on your face, any scar on your skin. You're a queen to the guys, you're kings. Believe it. Believe it. So thank you for coming in and listening to this session or I said session. <laughs> I say session a lot because I speak a lot. <laughs> so. Thank you and please subscribe, please like, share with your friends that might be going through some issue with acne. You don't know what they're going through, so you just share with them, right? <laughs> I'm trying to take out that word. I, I overuse it. I honestly overuse it. God help me on that angle. I would overcome it too. 
anyways thank you so much join me tomorrow that's tuesday and the coming days because i want to be consistent with youtube so let's see how that goes bye guys